Hi, this is Michael, and I want to show you a new feature in LogMD called Auto Runs. You start by running LogMD with the minus AR command, and that will do the auto runs. It takes about 15 seconds to run. You'll get a report called report auto runs.csv for post processing and scripts or anything you want to do. There, it's that quick, it's done. We open it up, and let's make it a little easier to read. Let's widen this field so we can show you what's in this. And what you can see is the type of auto run that's in there. We have several. You can see we scroll down. We got win login, network log on, etc. We have the actual key location, the value name of the key, the original path that the auto run ran, and the resolved path, which is what we use to hash the files. It's a CSV, so you can post-process. And this is your report that you'll see in free. Now let's take a look at how many we have here. We have 1,251 auto runs. Now we've pre-infected this box, so the goal here is to find the persistence that the malware is using. And by doing that in the free version, you'll have to post-process or manually go through this and take a look at it. But in Pro, we've added a couple cool new features. So let's take a look at that. Next time we run it, we'll add a feature in LogMD Pro that's called MD for Master Digest. So what we're going to do is exclude unique files that are in the system that we already have trusted out. So when we run the auto runs again, we will have a much smaller result set. And it's done again. We take a look at it. Again, make it easier to read. Widen these just a little bit so we can see what's in there because we'll talk about the results here. Now, how many do we have? We're down to 157. But notice the ones that are left have parameters. We do not exclude through the master digest anything with a parameter. The reason for that is the parameters are how the auto runs or the malware will misuse the system using regular built-in commands like wscript, command.exe, etc., to launch their malware. So never exclude or never uh, get rid of things with parameters unless you're absolutely sure of trusting them. So we have a way to do that. In LogMD Pro, we have the concept of a whitelist. Now here we already have a whitelist for this machine. We've already baselined this box. We'll show you what's in it. I'm uncommenting it out so we can actually make it work. We'll show you what's in here, and you can see that we have parameters that have already been excluded, right? WS, MS, WSOC, DLL, and then the main thing is the parameter. And every one of these will have a parameter. This is how you further narrow down the results. So now if we run LogMD one more time, not only does it exclude the master digest, but it will also now add the whitelist. And we'll see the results as soon as it's done. And let's see if we can find the persistence of this malware. We open the report. We make it easier to read. We'll widen these fields so it's real easy to understand. Open this up. And there you go. Here's the auto run. The run key is being used. You can see that it's called a run key. There's the run actual registry path. Here's the location of it. They're exploiting the built-in Windows utility run DLL32. Why you can't exclude run DLL32.exe is because they are misusing it with a parameter. And they're putting the malware in app data roaming Microsoft some weird directory name in a DLL. And you can see it's not hashed because we do have a parameter and the resolve paths are the same. And there you go. That's how you find the persistence of malware using LogMD auto runs. Thanks for watching.